Hey there, Virgo. Welcome to your reading for November 2015. So this month you start off with the Five of Clubs, which is about having a bunch of ideas, having a lot of ideas floating around in your head. And these are ideas for literally everything, uh, how to get relationships, how to start relationships, how to make your current relationships better, um, how to make more money starting a business. I mean, the list goes on and on. This is just ideas in general that you are having. And the card really does say that all your ideas are actually pretty good. I mean, usually Five of Clubs comes in, they are well thought out ideas that are backed by you know, some some thought and are backed by a lot of other things that you have thought of. So take advantage of that. Uh, it's hard when we have this card because on one hand, the challenge is that you have so many ideas, you don't know what to do. But really what the card asks you to do is it just start, asks you to just start trying them. And, and that's crazy, but it really is kind of like the throw, you know, what at the wall and see what sticks type of, you know, card with here is what it is. And it really rewards that. And to back that message up, you have the Eight of Clubs coming up next, which really rewards hard work. All eights in the deck reward hard work. It's like the harder you work with an eight, the more likely you will succeed. And the Eight of Clubs in particular is, well, first off, it's one of the rarest cards in the deck. Almost never shows up in readings. Even in personal readings, almost never comes up. And the card rewards multiple paths, doing multiple things, and trying everything. So that that really backs up that Five of Clubs as well. So any ideas you have to move forward or start a business, it's like try a bunch of them and then really see what sticks and works out well for you. And then that will get you moving forward really quickly. I, I mean, I think you have the, an opportunity this month to really kind of blast off. It's like by the end of the month, you're just like shooting forward and, and really kind of w working really hard. Although... You know, clubs can represent pretty much everything, but, um, you know, the eight of clubs, I, I mean, what I'm trying to say is I'm really getting work for you. I'm really getting that it's like work in the area of work and business that this is really where you're going to be moving forward. So just know that ahead of time. Uh, next, you have the Queen of Hearts. Queen of Hearts is could literally be your mother coming in and offering you advice. If she does, listen to it. It's good advice. It can also just be somebody who wants to take care of you and nurture you, male or female. It, it could be either or, and it could be you know your significant other. It could be a friend. It could be whatever. So just know that if somebody's coming in and offering you you know some nurturing whatever that may be for you, definitely be open to it and take it. There's definitely love on the table for a lot of you this month. So if this person comes in and, and it could be a potential relationship, just, you know, it's kind of like one of those things, see where it goes. And next you do, you have the seven of hearts, which is a card of love. Usually um, something is missing, which is usually you that is missing from the card. So if you are feeling single, you know, it's like you're the one that's missing. There's a bunch of people around here waiting for you. So it definitely says get out there and work. And I just threw the card. Um, so get out there and work on, you know, getting a new relationship. If you are in a relationship, um, communicate. That's what the card says. It's a card of communication. So if you are lacking in love or something along those lines, definitely get out there and communicate with your partner. And that should move things along nicely. So thank you for watching and definitely enjoy the month.